Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video. Um, this time it's a generator video. Um, so I came across a Predator 3500 uh, and I have came across a Win 2000. Um, basically the Win is the same thing as the Predator 2000. Um, you get it at uh, Harbor Freight. Um, I bought these second hand, I didn't buy these new, so obviously I couldn't get no warranty. Um, but I work on small engines, I'm pretty confident I can fix anything that goes wrong with them. So I'm not too much worried about that. Um, I haven't had no quality issues, so uh, I'm not worried about the uh, the units breaking down or anything. But if they do, I can fix them. Not a big deal. Um, the price I got them at was such a good price. Uh, even if I throw them away and buy some new ones, I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, so, you know, anyway. So the little modifications I did on 3500 I want to show you all today. Uh, which I must say, if you have a unit that you just bought or... You got a warranty with with uh, Harbor Freight. Um, make sure you don't do these mods because it will void your warranty. Um, these are for people like me that um, just tinkers around, does stuff. Um, but you may find out that uh, this may extend the life of your generator. Um, you know, small things that you do sometimes factory doesn't do to save money. Um, you can do and ends up being a benefit for you. So um, just give you something to think about. Um, so one thing I did, which is that little backpack on the side was a, a little backpack that was given to my wife at, from work. Some guy gave it to her. A company that she works with, uh, one of the vendors gave it to her. She didn't particularly like it, so uh, small. Um, she didn't know what to do with it, so she gave it to me. I was going to put some tools in it and stick it in my car. But then I uh, seen the straps and I remembered the handles and I thought, well, what better way to keep my tools and stuff in, the, you know, next to the generator with it on the side. So um, I decided to use it for tools and stuff on my generator um, that comes in handy um, you know it's actually a cooler backpack so you know even if I want to take my stuff out and put some beers in there or something like that you could put some ice it's not gonna leak it's a cooler so uh, I got my manual um, and I have a quarter oil and yes you see what I got here suicide cord so and I use that to sync up my two generators um, you know my 3500 and my 2000 um, you know they uh, both are inverters uh, the inverters are meant to sync up um, you know they will sense volts from each unit and it will synchronize and the units will then supply half the power of what's being supplied to whatever you're running so therefore it's more economical uh, if you're running something with a higher voltage um, each generator will run half that um, so that way you're not always overloading one or the other. So uh, uh, peak is 2,000 here. Peak on this is 3,500 here. Um, running watts is 3,000 here. Uh, running watts is 1,600 here. So um, you know at peak, um, you know I can run 5,500 watts. Um, and in running watts, you know I can run 5,000 watts. Um, 1,600. Um, plus 3,000, uh, I'm sorry, 4,600, so, um, anyway, uh, just give you a couple of things here, um, that I did to the Predator, um, that you might find, um, interesting, um, and, uh, again, like I said, if you have a warranty, you might want to not consider doing these things, but, um, I did them because I don't have a warranty, and also, too, it's going to extend the life of my generator, and, um, giving me more years of uh, enjoyment out of them so so this is what I did uh, first of all um, the uh, off switch knob the petcock here it's actually a valve and a switch so when you turn it in the off position it turns your engine off and it closes the fuel when you turn it on opens up the fuel and your engine running well the problem is you have to drain the fuel by taking off the side cover and each time you do that, you have to get a Phillips head out, take screws off, drain it, put it all back, and it's just a pain in the butt. Um, so what I wanted to do is have a way that I could turn the unit off or let it run out of gas, and I didn't want to take away from one or the other. So I put a switch in there. It's a monetary switch. It's a, uh, I got it out of an old weed eater I had. Um, it has a, uh, you push stop, and it goes back. So you hold it in the stop position, and it turns off and then you let go um, so I can turn it to the off position 
once I turn it to off position, it cuts the fuel to the generator off. It runs, so it runs out of gas. Well, if I have it running and say emergency happens, I need to turn it off. I turn it off like that. I turn off the switch. Um, that way, I have the best of both worlds. I can turn it off or let it run out of gas. Uh, another thing I did is this AC120 uh, 20, uh, 30 amp outlet um, actually is uh, cocked uh, at a basically a 11 o'clock um, position. So when you plug your adapter uh, plug into it for your uh, RV cord, um, your pigtail is way up here at this point, and it turns this way to unlock, and you turn this way to lock it. So the problem is it keeps unlocking itself, and it wouldn't be very secure. So I took this outlet, turned it 180 degrees, and now it comes out basically at your 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock position. So now when the weight's on the cord, it turns and it locks it and it keeps it from falling out. So I recommend you flipping that 180 degrees, putting you a stop switch in there. Um, those little holes right there that I did... Um, so airflow can go through um, with well, the intake is so strong that uh, air is actually being sucked through the outlets and to cut down on that um, I put some holes here um, I turned the insulation around and put some super glue on it and stuck them where the uh, insulation um, it, You still got the sound deafening, but it can suck through like a sponge so therefore air flows through that and I also did it on the side of my oil cover um, just, you know, drill those six little holes and uh, flip the, the uh, insulation around, super glued it, stuck it, and uh, now i got some ventilation through there. So, it runs cooler. Um, it doesn't, form, uh, doesn't affect um, any performance issues. It actually enhances it. It makes it run better because it gets more airflow. Um, I was kind of noticing at times when I had it running, I was taking the door off. Um, and I noticed that how strong the suction was. Um, and I've seen some other people say, you know, buy this covered door and all this. And I said, well, I can do that on the cheap. I got a drill bit. Uh, I'm trying to make it look somewhat nice. I don't think it's tacky, but um, I think it looks decent. Um, so anyway, um, those are just a couple things I did in my, my little generator. Um, I haven't done any modifications to this except I put a Phillips head screwdriver on top, um, some bungee balls to hold it down so I can use it to uh, get inside my generator. Um, don't know if I'm going to put a backpack on the side of that, which the way the handle is, I don't know if there really can be one. Um, maybe like a little bag hanging off the side. Um, something like a knack, knack uh, what do they call it, a nap bag or something that has a little... Um, drawstrings might be okay. Something a little bit better quality than what you would find um, with some stuff that comes with them little bags. Um, but anyway, um, just giving you a heads up and you know what I did in my generators. Thank you very much.